Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Silence. We've been talking about India's medal prospects across several sports in the earlier episodes as well. In today's episode, we'll be talking about the medal prospects in the women's air rifle and pistol category. Well, talking about women's rifle and pistol, let's start our episode with uh, the 10-meter air rifle category. In the 10-meter air rifle category, we've got two contenders, uh, Apoorvi Chandela and Ella Binel Valravian. Uh, starting off our episode about Ella Binel Valravian, she's world number one. Uh, she's done extremely well in the junior category as well as in the domestic competitions as well. Uh, uh, surely a medal prospect for India. Uh, let's hope Elevenil keeps her nerves, does well in the qualification category. Uh, she has to score above 628 points to have a chance uh, to compete in the finals. And if she does well in the qualification, we are quite confident, we are quite hopeful that she will be able to keep her nerve uh, in the finals as well. And uh, she will be able to uh, you know, get that elusive medal uh, in the 10 meter air rifle category. Uh, Elevenil is world number one. She's won gold in the last six World Cups. Uh, she's coming with a bag load of talent. All she has to do is keep her nerve and we are quite sure and we are quite confident that Ella Binail can bag that medal for India. Alongside uh, Ella, Ella Binail, we've got Apurvi Chandela. Uh, she's one of the experienced shooters. Uh, she couldn't quite do well in the Rio Olympics, but I'm sure that she put that disappointment behind her and uh, she would want to uh, do really well in the upcoming Tokyo Olympics. Uh, Apurvi also would be taking part firstly in the qualification, would want to match the score of 628 or above and then sweep the finals and uh, of course in the finals is a different ball game altogether uh, she had done really well Apurvi in the 2019 world championships she finished fourth there and uh, experience combined with talent is always a lethal combination and we are quite confident that if Apurvi is able to get her experience to the fore and also at the same time keep her nerve she also becomes a possible medal candidate it's a great great opportunity for India in the upcoming uh, Olympics in the 10 meter air rifle category, you've got Elevinail and Apurvi. And you also got two players in the reserves as well. So, shooting in the 10 meter air rifle category in women's looks really, really promising for India. The 10 meter pistol women's category 10 meter pistol, world number two, world number one. Unbelievable stat. World number two is uh, the silver medalist Manu Bakar. Uh, she comes here and she's done really well. Uh, she didn't have the greatest of the scores in the qualification category, which could be a disadvantage. But uh, I mean, she has done well before as well. We've seen what she could do. And if she's able to hold pressure at the largest level or the biggest level, then for sure she's in a medal hunt for India. Uh, Manu is coming with a lot of experience. Uh, she's also become an household name over the last many years in shooting. Uh, all we have to hope is that she's young. She's talented, but here is where she needs to step up. And this is a great opportunity the Tokyo Olympics uh, for Manu to show what her talent is, what her pedigree is at the highest level and the highest possible competition. Uh, world number one, Yashaswini Deswal. Uh, she's been on a rise and she's done really well. She's won two gold medals at the fag end of 2019 at the World Championships and the World Cup. Uh, if she can repeat that performance, then with alongside with Manu, Yashaswini stands a great chance. So we're seeing wonderful signs here for India in the upcoming Olympics, especially in the women's shooting category. We saw what is the possibilities of the 10-meter air rifle, talking about 10-meter pistol as well. Manu alongside Eshaswini, this is a good combination for India. Talking about 25-meter pistol, we've got Rahi Sarnobat. Rahi comes with uh, uh, wonderful accomplishments and laurels. She's the world number two. She's the Asian Games gold medalist. Uh, she's three times World Cup winner. Uh, Rahi comes with a lot of experience. Uh, but more so, what has always been discussed is the fact that uh, Rahi does really well in the final, but somehow she sometimes falters in the qualification. Yeah, you heard it right. Uh, she's been invincible nearly in the finals, where she's won four out of five times. Whenever she's featured in the finals, she's won a medal. So, all that Rahi needs to do is qualify, and then she surely stands a chance uh, in the finals because she's had a really good performance whenever she sees the finals. So, all we have to hope and expect is. Rai doing really well once she reaches the finals. Uh, talking about Manu, this is something a lot of our fans have discussed over and over again. The fact that Manu does really well in the qualification category, often reaches the finals, but somehow couldn't quite you know, get the desirable scores that can land her a medal in the final. Here is where we have to expect Manu steps up, uh, not just in the 10-meter uh, 
uh, pistol category but also talking about the 25 meter pistol uh, man who has to also start step up there and here is where a lot of prospect and a lot of baggage is on the shoulders of man who here who carries india on his shoulders it does look really promising for india uh, in the upcoming tokyo olympics uh, be it the 10 meter air rifle be it the 10 meter pistol or the 25 meter pistol we've got uh, shooters who are coming here with a lot of experience a lot of accomplishments and uh, they've done really well in the world cup the world championship all they need to do is replicate their performance in the upcoming olympics as well and then surely india does stand a chance of winning that elusive medal in the olympics finally at the women's category and it is our exciting times for india be it manu be it rai be it apurvi be it yashaswini or be it lr even uh, all of them are accomplished shooters and uh, we are quite confident if they're able to keep their nerve at the highest level and we are really talking about a lot of medal prospects for india uh, in the shooting category thank you once again for tuning in to another episode of beyond the sidelines today we spoke about the medal prospects in the women's category uh, air rifle and the pistol uh, in the upcoming tokyo olympics uh, we'll be talking about other sports too and a lot more on our channel do follow share and subscribe thank you